and we are i am live what's going on dave and mary p thanks for joining let me know uh if my audio is doing all right i was trying to gather up the information to share on facebook and the grams try to last minute show and tell and here's my second window closing it Hey, what's up, Greg? How's, how was everybody's weekend? I know uh, Joe, yeah, I was, I was happy for him to have a day off. Postmen rarely get days off unless it's federal. Red River Groups. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, we got Brandon B, the real one, out from Cali. It was long. You know, um, I had a surprise, Greg, and everybody else. What's up, Tim? Hey, Marioli, baby. Ooh, what time is it over there? I wonder if Uncle B's going to jump on if you're up. What's up, Justin? Dana? A lot of people get Dana's name with Donna. <laughs> I'm sure she gets it a lot. We might even be saying it wrong. But, um, yeah, I had a surprise this weekend with uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law showing up on Saturday from Twin Falls, Idaho. I love that place. There's this awesome coffee place called Java. I always mention it every time I mention Twin Falls at all. I hear Tip sniffing around. Where you at, dude? There you is. You want to say hello to the, the YouTube fam? Hi, Kathy. The towards that way. There you go. There you go, Tip. All right. You go down, sir. I just want to say all of y'all are killing it on reselling. And if nobody's told you yet, I'm proud of all of y'all. <laughs> When's the last time you were told uh, somebody was proud of you? Uh, Tip, he is cute. Very, very cute. Just found out uh, my wife was saying about dogs. Uh, she learned this from TikTok is that when you go to the restroom and your dog is there standing by you all kind of weird creepiness is because they're used to guarding each other when they're going out to the restroom so they're not caught off guard doing their business. What's up, Matt? Phoenix Flippers, how's the family? Froggy, Froggy, Ribbit, Ribbit, what's up, Flips? My man, definitely don't sleep making those YouTube videos. All of y'all, one of them, you know, I was really surprised about a month ago with Kathy. Like, she is low-key popular on youtube she gets the views and it's very simple what she does and it teaches me a lot uh all of you do actually but what kathy's editing is just you don't have to be extra just be yourself and sometimes i could be extra but that's just me catching my mood of what i do other times i'm calm sometimes i don't want to be too much and try to focus on what i have to say rather than being scatterbrained like i am majority of times um well, let's get started. Quite a bit of y'all in here. And hope you hit that smash, that thumbs up button. What's up, Gary? Throwing out the shaka. I always like when Gary does that. It reminds me of being back in Hawaii. Let's get started on this thrift haul. Um, first, let me tell you how I got started today. Today was supposed to be my day off. I show up to work and all of a sudden, an hour into it, I say, you know what? I don't have a, yes, definitely a squirrel. Or it might be tip or multiple distracting me. So I go into work and I don't have a schedule because I was early today. Today's my early day. And because of that, I was trying to call my supervisor, but he hung up on me. Go figure. So I figured instead of asking my coworkers for anything, I'm just going to do it myself. I don't want to ask anybody for help today. So I went inside. I noticed my name wasn't on the schedule. So I asked my other supervisor and he looks at me kind of funny. And I was like, what's going on? He said. Let me look at the schedule. He said, you sure you're supposed to be in today? I said, yeah, it's my regular day. I even came in this morning because for our company, we got to answer, I think, four or five questions by the Nevada State of Health, whatever their department is. And if you answer no on any of these, if not because you want to answer no and go to work, but because of the COVID, you have to call your manager. So I'm good in every way. But he looks on his end, or I was doing that. I was looking at my schedule, and it shows I was supposed to come into work. 
So then when I go in and I tell him, he looks on his end, the manager's area, and all of a sudden, he's like, you're supposed to be off today. And instead of being bummed about it, I was excited because Goodwill is just down the road for me. And that's how I ended up spending five whole hours until they closed, just going through every little thing that I possibly could. And I spent around 139 bucks, donated a dollar, so 140 even. So let's get started. I didn't just get clothes. I got other things as well. But I'm going to show you the clothes first or whatever is closest to me. So one thing I am big on is clothing, apparel. I enjoy doing it. And um, you know what? I think I could, I think I'll share the link with y'all. If you have uh, whatever I'm going through, just comment like me, me, me or something. If you want to share your advice in it, I'm going to go ahead and invite. Copy. Gotta go to the other window. All right. So if anybody is interested in sharing some of their apparel stuff, I'm going to drop the link. It'll be your turn. You have your few minutes to shine, share the world, your two cents, and let them run with it. And then we'll go to the next person if somebody wants to jump on. So one of the things I came across was this jacket right here. Here you go. So looking at this, it looks pretty basic. But for me, I don't just see basic and this type of stuff. Like I see what I could do and want to do is if, if I want to invest money in it is add some embroidery, maybe my name or maybe a nickname or somebody else's and also on the back. I think this is gray, a dark gray. So when I looked at this, it felt kind of funny. And down the middle on one of the sides, there was something sticking out. And if any of y'all seen my video with the um, Ralph Lauren black label vest, that's how I was able to tell what it was or what was in it actually, not so much of what it was. So that's what led me to look at the inside tag, which some of them are funny because it's a uh, sunny depot now. Yeah, Tim, I do. I am on Depop, and thank you so much for sharing uh, your information with me today. Tim saw that I was got a question on Instagram about somebody wanting to order something in Canada. And I was trying to do it actually on pirate ship, but I guess there's some more stuff I didn't look at. And Tim hit me up right away and said, hey, I could help you with that. And he sent me a screenshot of what the pricing is per weight. And I appreciate that very, very much. All of you, thank you so much for all the support. Very grateful for every one of y'all. It's helped me grow. And also it's helped me just continue what I'm doing to share what I know which isn't a lot, but it's valuable. It's not about the number, it's about the quantity within the value of information that we all share. So back to this jacket. So opening it up, I saw that there was zippers here, left or right pocket, also here. So when I was trying to find a label, I couldn't find it on the back of the neck, which that is the back of the neck and also there. So these were, when I first opened it up, it was the black side. And also with this, I was like, it's really nice. And it doesn't have anything to make it look which side would be the front side, like actual outer shell. So when I was looking inside the pockets, and both sides have pockets, now we're going to find it. It was probably on that front side. I found a label of it having goose down. It was 80%. actually open already it's on the gray side where is it at here it is so I ended up finding the tag yeah I can see it right there LL Bean this is a women's jacket and it's a size large petite very good information when you have that because a lot of things when you list on eBay with apparel it'll ask you what kind of fit is it is it slim is it loose is it relaxed same thing with jeans and it has all the information on your 100% polyester shell so that's the exterior, but the insulation is goose down with the minimum of 80%. So stuff like this, it might fit me and I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. And the reason why I tried this on, and I got this actually for half off, it was 13 bucks, so half of that. And the reason why I tried some of this stuff on is to see if it fits for men. And I add that in the description. 
this is a good length. It's also like a streetwear with the backside. Pretty comfy too. Finally, I have something that my, I feel big and taller in. So this would probably end up going for around 50 bucks. I've been doing a lot of implementing of free shipping on a lot of things. And by that, as most know, I add the shipping price inside there. But I feel like this might be right at two pounds. And with something even this big, I could fit it inside or roll it up inside a padded flat rate envelope. And I still have, let me see the comments. I don't want to look over all y'all stuff, like make y'all feel like you're being ignored because I'm not doing that. Key lime kisses. Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, good thing I could read a little bit. Downfield. Yes, it is. Uh, poor mom life. You know what? Before this happens, and y'all want to help out. Throwing some, I'm throwing some tools out there. And with these tools come responsibility if you want to use it. Jennifer is like, don't pick me. I do everybody's. <laughs> Jennifer, I can't leave you out. Give me a few seconds, folks. Looks good on me. It, it felt pretty good. Besides the arms, it felt a little short. Kathy. Dave Kelly. Okay, I think I might have got everybody. If not, I'll catch it with the comments going on. So, next item is going to be this one right here. Now, this isn't something I would want to resell, but I figured me being in Vegas and being a fan since I moved here and I didn't have a hockey team, I went with the Golden Knights which a story about this, I ran into, first working at my company, I ran into somebody that was with their brother visiting from Chicago and they are a Blackhawks fan. So this brother of the brother talking to me, asked me what my favorite team was. And I said, I really don't have one, but I guess I'll pick the go tonight. Hi, Tracy. And he said, good answer. He was like, lucky for you, all my friends who are working with me with the Golden Knights, that's who he works for. He said, here's my business card. This is actually my business card or his business card with his personal number. He said, whenever you want free tickets for you and your friends, hit me up. The only thing is I work on those days. That's the only bummer. I still have his card. His name is Jordan. And um, I hold that very, very close to me. One day I'm going to use it. So I think this might end up, if I was to sell it, it'd be around 18 bucks. But bobbleheads, do not overlook bobbleheads, especially old ones. Keep your eyes out for them because they do sell. And like anything else, when you have multiple items of stuff, it does help bring up the value of them. But then you got to consider the weight of them. One of the craziest things, like I enjoyed at first selling and then not selling, are freaking coffee mugs. Because some of them are over a pound. And it's just, their pricing super weird for shipping. I bought an Obama bobblehead in Hawaii. What have y'all seen a movie of of uh Obama? I forget the name of it though. I watched it, but the story went, ended up going on, and I was like, Is this Obama? It kind of sounds like him, kind of somewhat looks like him certain times, and it ended up being him. I think it was on Netflix, but I didn't open this and I wanted to, and it's one of those things when you even after four years of being on Goodwill <laughs> on on thrifting and reselling like i get shy sometimes of doing things like opening it up and seeing if it's all there and then at the same time i'm like what if i i open it and it's like a gold bar or some money and i shouldn't have did that and they take it away from me so i figured it's like a treasure treasure hunt taking it home seeing if there's actually money in there or something valuable other than what i was thinking it was nope oh here we go little hockey stick Brand new condition. And this is Nate Schmidt. Name reminds me of this full bird colonel. A uh, full bird out in Iraq. I think it was my first tour. Coolest guy ever. He was like four or five out from Kansas. They're part of the reserve company out there. 
take that out. Save this just in case I needed to ship something. So this is actually brand new. Vegas Knights is going to be one thing that you'll never find like to somebody say vintage. <laughs> it's just one of those new brands that are out there. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for coming in. That'll be Fat Girl Sewing. Got Philly Picker. Oh, okay. I'm catching some of y'all now. Oh, wait. Big Texas. Okay, I think we got everybody. If one of y'all want to jump in and talk about what you want to share, your tips or something you come across, by all means, hit the, the link. If not, it's okay. Not a problem. Not at all. Poor mom life. Sounds like Jeffree Star's ex-boyfriend's name. Nate Schmidt. <laughs> Sold in Iowa. Roosevelt High School coffee mug for 70 bucks. That was 16.1 ounces. Whew. Wrapped in cardboard and should be a padded flat rate. 50 cents at Goodwill. Nice. Nice, And but was the $17 also including the shipping costs of the padded flat rate? Because I've been thinking about doing that just to get rid of stuff and still hope to make a profit. It's very rare that I don't make a profit on things, but eventually you end up you know, just breaking even and do your best not to be within a negative. What's up, Calvin? Kelly Hustles. Mi amigo. All right, next item, folks. All right, this one was a gambler. We always come across stuff that's like, I'm going to chance it, mostly because of the price. But then it's like, why not? I could afford it, but that's not a good thing to be doing all the time either. It's just to say, because I could afford it, I'll buy it and chance everything. That's a no-no. This was $1.99. And opens up in the back. It's a, I want to say this is vintage because of like the way the marking is, the label that's printed on there. But I could be wrong. But for $1.99, this was probably one of maybe two that I chanced. This is a foot joy soft joy glove it's pretty bright on my lens or webcam and i do have some friends that golf golfing is an expensive hobby this feels super nice super white on the camera for me at least oh there is some tape oh that's actually the wrapper the little wrapper lens from here that came off so some little dots. Not sure if that's supposed to be there. But maybe I'll make a few bucks off of this. Size extra large. All right. Put that one aside. This wrapper is falling apart on me. One bag. Well, almost done. So here's one. It's a new name for me. I did, I never come across cosmetics, cosmetic stuff unless... Uh, it's by accident. Like, I'm not trying to look for it. I happen to open it. And this is one of, uh, at first it had some cosmetics and I found that somebody was trying to switch it out and found the right items to go inside here. They fell inside the toy area, I guess, because it opened so easily. And these are some scented like candles or little burn pods. One of them's loose here. It's like a little rose, like a tablet. No, I'm not going to eat it. Full jaw. So these are Tokyo Sapporo boulders. This one is a Shoyido, S-H-O-Y-E-I-D-O. And I just typed in the name and found that they sell pretty good. And because there's multiple in there, maybe I could sell them for more separately or as a gift set as it is right here. But I need to go through them. Whew, that, has, that has a width to it where it's like, I got to close this. It's very like an old grandma kind of perfume scent. And it's funny about old people because we're going to get there one day when, you know, that old man cologne that you could smell like a mile away and you're upwind, not downwind. That's like this right here. And this box is actually holding the scent in pretty good. So got this for four bucks. And I'm pretty sure I could sell it used if anything was used in there. We'll find out. Daily gift box, three bundles, incense, and holder. Smash the thumbs up button, people. To make me tell you again. Because I'm going to say it again and again. 
Dang you, Justin, and just ready to say the same thing, and you beat me to it. Gaffa is a spoiled walk. Mark Twain. You know, I tried to read some of Mark Twain's stuff, but it's just too much. But then it, it's funny because he's wordy, and so am I. I guess not everybody similar could get along. I take my one in a corner store. I'm back. Brandon. Welcome back, senior. Oh, here we go. I didn't get Justin flipping. There we go. I think we're good now. Or Brandon. Okay. We is good. And if y'all got any links to your next channels, like as in uh, premieres or anything coming up or Instagram, feel free to share that. That's what we're here for is to support each other, especially with me talking. I may need a speech therapist soon. Next bag, folks. That doesn't look right with this all in my face. This one caught my attention because the sleeve, right? I always like to look at Letterman's, see if they're blank or if they're vintage. And with this one, I didn't expect it to be a Gumball 3000 Letterman jacket. Prices are all over the place. It was inside the kids section. And this is a size large. Has the number six or a G. Letterman right there. I'm going to say it's a G because it's a gumball. 99 on the right sleeve. I've sold probably like three or four hats of these. And they've sold for around 20 to high 30s. And they sell fast. So if you come across them, keep on the lookout for them because they're usually limited. And they'll be on your typical Yupon caps. And Yupon caps, caps have been around for quite a bit. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! About to go to prom. I think this is that time of the year, too, for prom. This is nice. Is this leather? Or is this pleather? Here we go again, modeling peeps. Look at that. That G is for gangster. Oh! Bun popped off. That's that Rona weight. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Don't be looking at my goodies, peoples. Who's all in here? Oh, Tracy. I didn't get Tracy. How can I not get Tracy? You know, Tracy, I was actually thinking about you today because I came across some top men t-shirts quite a bit of them like around 10 but they're all priced way too high and i remember the first time looking at one of your videos i think it was a live and you brought up top men i was like i know that brand hi Elmi. not a problem thank you for joining either way even if it's for a moment i like emily's videos as much as i do everybody else but emily has a different way of doing her videos and i like them because it's more like on a personal level level of self growth and also growing within a community like you take the advice or you don't but she comes in a positive positive mindset and today was one uh she talked about suicide and i can tell you all this and i used to be ashamed of feeling this way i was in that dark place where i felt like it and finally i listened to my wife and started taking therapy and there is nothing wrong with therapy you got to take what you have and look at look at what it is where you come from like just take a second to look at where you're at before years ago or a week ago see what you have now and how you feel and what you've done we got to learn how to self-forgive that's been another one and the craziest place about learning about self-forgiveness i learned i was told that while at a shooting range of missing up so much and they said hey don't beat yourself up you got to learn how to self-forgive and i learned how to take that with me with more than just not being able to shoot that good with the pistol. You give me a rifle, done. Eagle eye. Ka -ka! Dave Miss Woodpecker. Perspective. Absolutely, Kelly. Kelly hustles Calvin. This is my first time seeing you on live. You seem like a cool guy. You know, I, I used to be cocky, and certain times I am, and I used to be conceited because. <laughs> I was such a bad kid growing up and felt like neglected the entire time to where I learned as I grew up not to be that way and to listen to people and to have conversations and 
going overseas and working with Iraqis and other people and people who even hate you. We all come across people that don't like us, but yet I've been able to take what I learned in Hawaii, all learning lessons everywhere that I've gone to, and they tell you, kill them with aloha. So I carry that deeply too. So much stuff we learned from everybody. But anyways, bought this for 13 bucks. It was not half off. Good thing for these price tags on Goodwill because I used to be screwed up in the beginning when they said, hey, green is half price. I used to think like purple or gray was green until they started implementing like spelling on there. And I just had to learn how to read the rest of the colors. And I've been going to go ever since. So I used to just buy just to look at uh, the items I would buy. I would only buy because I felt it was a good price to still make money. And if they wore the color of the week that I couldn't tell the color of, I felt like it was a bonus. Emily, I, I do have quite a bit of stories, but it's whatever comes to mind or happens that reminds me of them. And for the most part, I've learned to just focus even on the bad things to turn good. But we're not all perfect. I just got a speeding ticket the other day. <clears throat> Don't tell my wife. Uh, I killed my phone battery. <laughs> There's always a charger, Greg. This one, I rarely get marmot. And I think I'm saying it right. This was 13 bucks. This is a women's very nice feel. The reason why I don't get them because they're usually not so much overpriced. Goodwill knows what they're selling, but for half price, say $650 altogether. This is a women's XL. Should I try it on? Like I said, I try them on anyways. And at first, I thought it was a quarter zip, but the zipper is so tight, it's actually a full zip. And I don't think this is reverse reversible. I think this one could go for around 35 bucks. It's like a nice windbreaker. Show and tell, people. Too short for me though. It's like right at the right at the hip. Which apparel too, shirts, women's shirts, more than anything, I find like it asks, like, where's the length of it at? Is it like full? Like a full shirt, I guess, like a long shirt or a dress. And um, it's good to have measurements. But I know Kat from the Nurse Flipper says she does very little to her descriptions. And I've been trying that lately is not adding so much words in the description and even measurements. But on Depop, I had a guy ask me who's out in Canada saying he's going to order something tomorrow. He asked for measurements, which reminds me I need to check on that. So I need to get back to measurements. So that's not working for me. But with this Marmot jacket. I think it'll go for at least 35, maybe even more. We'll see. And it's light, so it'll go first class. All right, not apparel. Here we go. I'm going to show you this here, and any of y'all know what this is, the name of this, like the artist. I'll give you a few seconds to check down below because I have another, I think, cat from the same artist. So comment. Anything, anything that comes to mind. Uh, counting days until Goodwill's thrift store is open. It will, it will open soon. All right, let me get the other one. This one hangs, so this is going to be pretty cool. Let's see if I can do it without dropping it. Now, it doesn't swing great, but I'm pretty sure it's because the way I'm holding it. All right. Here we go. Hey, hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Tracy and Key Lime. You're good. You're too good. I didn't think anybody was going to get it, but I am optimistic. I was hoping somebody would. Here's another one right here. So I was first looking at this cat. And I like the way it looked, but my wife doesn't like cats, so it's not something I could say. I wanted it because of me. She was going to say, you're not putting it in a house anywhere. My my office here is all me, even though she comes in every once in a while, and she's like, you need to clean up your mess. Other than today, I've been very, very good and organized because family came down for Twin Falls, Idaho, like I said. But um, after this live show, I'm definitely going to square everything away. And the reason why I've been more squared away 
than anything is because Tommy Bernhard, and I like to re-implement what people say for the better and the good of what people are trying to do. He mentioned a while back that if you list, say, $500 worth of stuff for up to 90 days, every day, $500 worth of stuff, around 90 days, you're going to start seeing payouts or orders up to like $500 more or less. So this is my day five of doing that. And I ran out of stuff to inventory. So I'm glad I had the day off the way I did because I was able to get this stuff. Again, I spent 130 bucks, 39 bucks on all of this. So this was $299 full price. Now I wouldn't have got this because this one doesn't sell very much. But when I seen this one, I said, wait, wait, wait. There was a cat over there, and these are kitties. And I looked at the bottom of them and saw Jim Shore. This one is Outdoor Living 2011 Collection Feline Friends. And I went back to this one and said, I think it was the same name. And this one is from 2003. Elijah. Hartwood Creed, I think it says on there. And this was $2.99. And this one was $3.99. So I think... So when I saw how much this more or less may go for, I'm thinking it could go for over 100, if not maybe 60. But I figured why not get both of them and just bundle them together to get even maybe more. So I think this is pretty cool. If you like cats, press one. If you like dogs, press two. Put that down and hope I don't break it or forget about it later. Just some unnecessary noise right now. One and two. You go, Kathy. All right, next one. When I saw this one, I said G-pop all the way. Or it could be growth, but I haven't got on growth yet. This one I got for $8, cut it in half, two, I mean, four bucks. This one is an old school, check this out, old school windbreaker. It has a zip away, hide away hoodie. I didn't even open it up. I should open it up, but usually the hoodies don't get messed with and they're like in new condition, regardless of the shell body type. Who else pressed one? Kathy, Craig, Justin. Dang you, Chris. Tracy Jinx. Bad girl. Wendy, I'll take care of you right now. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button, friends. I appreciate you all. So this is the first time seeing Izod Club. I think if I go closer, it's not going to be. I don't know if y'all can see it. Too bright. But... This is an older Izod, especially with the tags on here. It's a size men's large. Here we go. We got to try it on. Got this for four bucks. I usually don't touch Izod. That's more of like uh, when I was in the 90s, late 90s, that I was like, ooh, Izod and Umbro. Especially the shorts. Like the soccer shorts went hard with Umbro as a kid. Now that we're older, it's kind of coming back, those short shorts. Excuse me, Tip. If y'all didn't see Tip earlier, here you go. It's kind of like just sitting on my feet. Very, very clingy. That's what multi poos do. They cling to you. And I'm going to stereotype right now. And just because my wife's Filipino, she's also Japanese, I can kind of sort of not say that it's an Asian thing. All right, Tip. So I think Tip is actually Asian. All right. The red, red is one of those colors that when you take photos of, it just ruins the whole photo. So it's very tricky. It's a cool jacket. The only thing about this, oh look, little zip pocket on the sleeve for their stash back in the 90s or 80s or even till today. You don't gotta hide it no more. You just gotta have a card. Oh, and that's super sweet. I didn't see that earlier. Nothing wrong with this jacket. Christine. People on Instagram. Hashtag. Mint. 
this is Angel Park, Las Vegas. So this is a local item. So somebody must have been giving some stuff away for donation. I think this is pretty cool. With the Angel Park embroidered here, I was kind of like, do I want to get this? Do I not? But if I wasn't on Depop, I wouldn't have got it. And I think it's pretty damn cool. So I'm definitely going to put that on there. Let me know of what you think. It does have left and right pockets. It does have a zip away hoodie. Let me know what I should list it for price-wise on Depop. Throw some numbers out there. I'll take it in consideration. We got 25 peeps. Awesome peeps in the chat. Chat. <laughs> chat. And I appreciate you all. I could keep saying that and saying that because it's true. We had a Maltese. His name was Scooter. That's a unique name. Never putty in house. You know, Tip is pretty good ever since we got him. And we got him off of Craigslist. Yeah, we got Tip off of Craigslist. And when we took him to the vets, they were like, oh, man, you got him off of Craigslist. We get the worst dogs from Craigslist and cats. And we've never had problems with Tip, ever. There's wood somewhere around here. Oh, cardboard. That'll work. Um, next shirt. Got this for half price. Six divided by two. This tree, as they say in Hawaii, tree. Like the it grows outside the trees. Tree. Travis Matthew has been really good uh bread and butters for me. Four bucks. This will probably sell for 21 bucks. It'll probably take a little while to sell. But when I went when it first opened. I knew I was going to find more. And the reason why I didn't get them before, because I didn't feel like paying six bucks for a t-shirt, any t-shirt, unless it's like a rare vintage one that I know for sure I'm going to get top dollar, like big bucks for it. We got to get you to negative a thousand subs. Oh, Red River. At least a thousand was in there. Even if it's a negative thousand, it could be a negative thousand from 2000. That'll be all right. I'll still end up with a thousand. It's a little brainy right there for even for myself. So this is a size large. And if I hold off on it, I wouldn't say 20 bucks. I could say top 28, top 20s. So there's one, and I got a couple of other ones here. Size medium, I think. Size large. Here's another jacket. Let me know if y'all have heard of this one. I thought originally this had I had red Lamborghini. Because of the way it's written out. Even just a glance of it. You're kind of like Lamborghini. And then you're like wait wait wait. There's some extra stuff out there and crosses. Lambretta. This is from London. A new name for me. And for the cops that I've seen on there. Clothing King. What's up Joey Bada Bing. I was like he caught my attention. Squirrel. There you go my friend. I'm now throwing you a wrench. Of responsibility. I don't know what you really do with it, but y'all do what y'all like. Just don't hurt each other. So this Lambretta right there from London has some really good comps. I got this for 13 bucks. I rarely pay for stuff that's up there. And I wouldn't say top dollar because that's kind of like an opinion of what you could afford to buy top dollar. But this is in really good condition and the comps online are really, really good. It's a new name for me. I'm not going to say it's a bolo. But it's one like anything else just to keep in your memory bank. This is a size medium. Oh, this is this is slim fit. I'm more of husky fit for you early 90 peeps that have lived that life. And I'm not going to be able, I don't want to squeeze, I don't want to go hawk because I might rip this and pay 13 bucks for nothing. Ugh. It's like a nice kind of tracksuit mesh interior, which is different than what I've seen. Yeah. It's nice, lightweight, near new condition. I could say it's new, but I'm just going to say near new. Be one of those things that you list people buy and they're like, wait, it's better than described, better than whatevs. Because you get those kind of comments in time too. All right, for all you ceramic peeps, 
Okay. There's one right here. I got this nice little pottery type pot. And I got it for $1.99. I didn't take off the tape. And Ma Dukes on Tim over the years had said, when you get this kind of stuff, and I'm sure Tim and Josie have said this before, but Ma Dukes is the one I remember hearing from saying this. One thing I don't like about the crazy tape from Goodwill is that you really have to wipe that down because it becomes all tacky. And this is what Ma Dukes said. She said a lot of people overlook the inside. They get messed up. And I think Tim ended up following up with saying this. Is that the inside of this the little brim, the little lip there, and the inside, they usually chip. And it's okay that they still sell. But this, I would say, would be all right because the top part is moving around the most. And the inside lip, I'm glad there is nothing wrong with it. This is from Temptations by Torah. Old World. 16 ounce made in china made in china so i think this will go for at least i would say at least 20 bucks maybe even more i could be wrong i didn't see too much of them like this colorway in blue they're mostly like green i think and brown goo gone not sponsored but here you go you're right tim that's what i was thinking i used goo gone on this and didn't wipe that down. I use Gugan for a lot of things, especially cleaning the midsoles of shoes. It cleans off very, very well. So not sure what this will go for. I remember looking at the comments, but I came across so much stuff today that I can't remember. But it was worth me getting. So I don't usually go for stuff like this. But because of Tim and Nana out there, she has, and Josie and Ma Dukes, everybody who's been sharing their information on pottery or ceramics and glassware, thank you all so much because it's helping a lot of us out there find stuff to make profit off of and keep doing what we're doing. That is a QVC or h &S brand. Steve is in the house. I read his name. What's up, Steve? Pick and roll. You know, a lot of you are pumping out a lot of videos. I'm doing the best that I can to keep up with them. Just like your comments. Everybody saying hello to Steve. Make sure you, you follow each other. If you aren't already, share your links down below. Like I said, share them. Support each other. That's the way it goes here. <clears throat> Next one. Now, this is how I knew more or less this was. Uh, I'm going to let y'all see it first. So you have a typical little button right here. With no brand. And these are shorts. One thing I learned about pants and at Goodwill, if you could tell me the name down below of this brand, you're going to get a star. I don't know how to give you a star, but I'll give you a star. Typical button. Is it, Joey? That's, that's, that's what you think. Tracy is on it. Lulu Lemon. So one thing about Lulu Lemon, right? Uh, I just came across two pants the other day uh, from an offer up sale. The offer up haul that I did, part one, I haven't done a part two because the same couple that sold me that first haul reached back out to me and said, hey, I have more stuff. And I think they asked for 70. I said, how about 60 or 50? They said, fine. And they ended up coming with two pants of Lululemon. And the thing about Lululemon, you can see the back of their buttons is like Tommy Hilfiger and it'll have the little logo. Like a little horseshoe. And the shorts, not so much. It doesn't have the logo of it standing. But usually on the right side, the back of your uh, knee, you'll see the logo. So when I go to Goodwill, that's helped me go through the pants a lot faster, trying to source for Lululemon because of the, the men's pants, at least. Sometimes they're right above, I think, the left like rear pocket. If you have Lululemon, check yourself. But when I saw these, I got excited, which I did pay seven bucks for these, and I'm pretty sure I could get around 30 or more. These are size, I forget what size. Another thing about Lululemon, you can, you can sell them even without the tags. A lot of people get rid of the tags because the tags are usually like yay long. 
If you come across Lululemon, you already know. This is a basic shirt for myself. This was three bucks, 150. I think that's half of it. Just a bla basic black t-shirt, kind of thick. And I figured I would do something creative on here. Like Froggy Flips, he had some of his own branding and stuff. But I don't want to put Las Vegas Thrifts on there or Sunny. I want to come up with like a, a design for thrifting, which is what I'm working on is to work on some designs to show love towards what it is we do in reselling. So that's what this is for. No tag on it, but it looks like it's inside out. You can't see it on there, but the tags or the shoulders is like is reverse, but is not. Another shirt. I like Under Armour a lot. This is brand new without tags. Simple, basic Under Armour so well, especially their sweatpants. It doesn't matter if it's the summer. I've already sold like three of them in the past month. And I came across some more. And I got one of them listed earlier. So this would probably sell for around 18. Even though the profit's not going to be huge off of three bucks, I'm still going to make a profit of 10 bucks or more. And with them being fast sellers, that's always huge. Another Travis Matthew. This one's also brand new like the other one. Paid three bucks for it. So if they're all matching the same size, I could list them separately or list them all together. This one's size large. It's a nice school. Yeah. And I think this is another one. Also a size large. But this one has a left chest open pocket. And I also paid three bucks for this. I've made the mistake before of getting excited with seeing brands like this and Vegas being pretty much like a golf type city as well. I forget to look at the sleeves and realize afterwards that not just Travis Matthew, but other brands that it has like a golf course or happens to have some kind of company that's not very popular or that I feel somebody would want to buy it. So I've been more cautious of that lately. We've got two more identical stuff. So again, I spent 139 bucks on this. Let me know what you think where I'm at profit-wise, if I made my money back already, and how much I should be at uh, in sales. Both of these were... $1.99. I ended up looking up the name really, really quick. And for $1.99, I figured I'd go for it, especially finding two of them. These are chump, Trumpet tapes, Tapestry. I can't read today. These have by HFP Macau, made in China. And they have some very, very old. Can y'all see that? You can't see that. But it has some TJ Maxx, some Tarjay. No, not RJ. TJ Maxx price tags on there for $19.99. And they look vintage, but some of their stuff is made to look vintage, even with the markings on the bottom. But for $1.99, I need to clean these up. Tim, Tracy, anybody out there, what's the best way to clean off wax? Because this does have some wax on there, but there's no cracks, no chips, anything on there. It looks really, really nice. So I figured I'll get them. I would say that'll be another one that I chance on it, four bucks altogether. Pretty sure I'll make my money and then some. Melvin, how's it, brother? How's the islands? The Aina. I just talked to Ed the other day. I think you talked to him. All right, so more. I was excited with this one. Really, really excited. And let me put them where you could see the hands. When I ended up going to the register, I was less excited, but right away looked at the comps because of the broken hand on here. There's something about this that just stood out. <laughs> so, so, and the sword being a little loose. But when I looked up the name of 
now an AO by Landros, I believe. I was like, whoa, this might be like a $300 item. But when I got a counter, I'm like, whoa, should I even get this? Is it worth buying and reselling? It's five bucks, no discount whatsoever. And I looked up the name Landros, the now Landro or Iandro, depending if they're Spanish or something, Spain. And they still sell even if they're damaged or broken. Some people have the parts that are broken. Some people don't. And I've seen some sell for like around 90 bucks broken. So with the hand on here, I'm figuring maybe it'll still be worth it. So I'm going to price it up there and then just see either way. But this is very glossy. Very, this is like, I don't know. This is something else. It's a good size too. Not too heavy at all. It's probably like 15 inches, I would say. Very, very cool. So for five bucks, I think it'll be worth it. Now is the lesser of Landro. The apprentice. Some apprentices do a lot better than their masters. Later, Glenn. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. All right. So I still think that was worth getting even for five bucks. I think it would sell. If anything, i positive it will sell for around 40. So here's another one right here. My light is like super bright on the webcam. So this was five bucks. Take out the tape so I could see the lid on here. Hope y'all, I hope the angle of the camera doesn't so show y'all my second chin, my triple chin, chin. Oh, and this is, this is nice. It's like a little part that just stayed stuck on there. Well, this has like a sitter or a filter that's in there. Pretty cool because I was not expecting that. So I'm pretty positive this is completo. You saw the third. Damn it, Joey. You're looking too hard, bro. So here you go. Nice. No chips or anything else. Looks like it was used inside. Give it a quick little wash. Nothing stained. And these are by Hell Superior Mary Dunbar. Jewel Makers Institute. Quality kitchenware. All superior. This is nice. Smarty pants. What did Tim say? Autumn leaf, jewel tea, Aladdin, teapot with the infuser. Tim, price, please. Por favor. Red River, one of my sources bought a storage unit with about 100K of Landro. Damn. La Lique, pay 1200 Damn. That's pretty cool what people come across, especially what people know off the top of their head. Like it, when it comes to clothes, I'm, I feel pretty confident in it, but stuff like this, I don't. So it takes me a lot to pick it up because sometimes we like to see the numbers and not look at everything else, like the complete comps. Even though we tell people, look at comps, we don't. 50 to 70 bucks? Yes. I'm pretty sure this will fit inside the box medium flat rate box because there's two types of medium flat rate boxes not bad then for five bucks thank you tim i'm going to put in the description a praise by tim but over the years i got more stuff This is a new name for me as well. Paid half price. Oh, no, not this one. I thought it was another blue shirt. This is not a new name. This is Polo Golf Ralph Lauren. Uh, made in Peru. Paid three bucks for this. Size XL. I find that uh, the larger size, especially the big and tall, do pretty good. I'm trying to button up button. I don't know why I feel urged to button that button, but I felt it. Just got to go with it. Nice shirt. I want to say this is brand new as well. A lot of brand new stuff inside this Goodwill that I go to on Maryland and Twain. 
or it might be sands that road is tricky because it cuts off along the strip but uh i think this will go pretty good probably around 25 bucks maybe high 20s low 30s and this is a performance shirt the mall there the boulevard mall donates a lot of stuff and because of the whole closure i'm pretty sure they had a lot of stuff that uh they had to get rid of i think i got two more bags to go through i've sold three of them before nice tim class man hey what's going on lance my neighbor state california uh, Brandon, if he's still in here, he's out there in California as well. I see a lot of ceramics and glassware. I think I'll attempt killing while I'm leaving them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I question myself a lot on some things. I'm like, should I have gotten it? Should I not? I just didn't know enough information or didn't have enough time. And today I was lucky to get the day off, go to work, and then be told I was off and have five hours to go on thrift. So when I called my wife, I made sure to call her on my way home, knowing that she was on her way to work. Gotta set it up just right. Cause she was gonna say more stuff, babe. So paid a uh, dollar fifty for the spider shirt. This is also brand new. A lot of things too with brand new apparel. You might think they're brand new, but you have to really turn them inside out to see the pits. Cause a lot of times the guys will be caking on that deodorant, not knowing that there's this other deodorant that I rock. Not gonna lie, I rock secret. It even has a date on here, 2019. 100% polyester. Saw somebody trying to sell that or have it listed on eBay for like 32 bucks. So I'll probably list it right at 32 bucks. Nah, I think more like 27. So this one, I had to get Under Armour. When I saw this, I thought of all the peeps that are out from Texas inside here. Yes, all the peeps from Texas. And there's like four of y'all in here from Texas. And I think you're all hours with from each other so under armor texas shirt being that i'm originally from texas i was like i may just keep this one this is a loose large smells washed so it's not new which is good because it's washed and ready to go that's cool so texas so uh, <laughs> but yeah i thought this was pretty cool Keep it for self. Oh, this one's heavy. My keyboard before I mess up the screen. I thought this was funny when I seen it. Kick balls. Got this for half price. So a total of two bucks. But I didn't check the inside of this. I'm a little shaky, peeps, because I did not eat all day. I was excited. When I got home, Emily popped on her live. She was with Sam Dapper Dan. Dapper Tiger. Why did I say Dapper Dan? Oh, is it missing one? Damn it. That's why I should have opened it. But there's three, two, four, six, eight, nine. There's three missing, but either way, these are pretty cool. I can sell it in complete. They look brand new. Have some little face on there. I will throw it at the, the webcam, but it'll probably break it. So I could sell it in complete or try to sell it locally or just use it to throw a tip when he's attacking my mother-in-law. So that might be one where it's like, maybe I should have opened it and not been so scared to do it, but it happens. Some of this, uh, I think this is more because of the Rona weight. This is my conscience saying you need to do something about it. So I ended up getting this Yoga Rilla, and they're supposed to be 55 cards. I paid five bucks for this. Now, am I going to go through all of it? No. I'm not going to burn your time like that. Whoa, these are some huge cards. Rocket. Let's go through a few of them. The Gate. Atlas, let me know what your favorite yoga position in. 
in the, this, in the comments. This is the Hawk. This might have been on one of the, I'm not going to say sites. <laughs> Speaking of those type of sites. Jet plane. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's another one. The boat. Maybe we'll go through a lot of these. Wave breathe. I guess you got to have a little boat. Can y'all see that? You got to have a little boat on your belly. And keep it there. Hi, Carol. This is the one I was thinking of. So funny. Um, One of my coworkers was talking to his wife about the downward dog and saying that he, something about the position. So I jumped in not knowing that he was on a speakerphone, but it didn't matter anyways. I said, have you ever had a spotter for the downward dog? And he, you just hear his wife just yell on the cell phone. Oh, my God. On your mark. Okay, we're not going to go through any more of this, but I will count them later. I could be something else at times. A lot of times. But the cards look very, very good. It looks like they haven't been messed with. They're just cards pretty big, so you can't really... Not, people don't usually mess around with them like uh, the Uno cards. Those get damaged quick. I think we have two more bags to go through. So my wife and I, she's been encouraging me to go on TikTok. And she saw this one TikTok with some glow sticks. And I usually see them at Goodwill. So when I went today and seen these, I figured for $1.99, I might as well pick them up. And we could use them for some TikTok. The thing is, what if they're just put all in there and already used? They take this up pretty damn good. I'm going to test one to see if they work. So there's supposed to be a hundred of them. Can y'all see that? There's a lot of them in there. Some of them I could kind of tell the color. Now this may be pink or it may be red. Colors are seven vibrant colors. Purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink. Glows for hours. We're going to turn off the light on this one. Oh, this is who's let me know if you know whose name I'm spelling right now. Let me look in there. <laughs> Let me turn on the light. Drops it. All right. So I'm pretty sure this one, this one was also, oh, this one was $2.99. And this one was $1.99. So 100 and 100, but I'm pretty sure it's less, less than that. But TikTok, that's what that's going to be used for. No clue. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell. So you got it right, Dave's. Hey, thanks for coming over. You're about to get highlighted with the blue. I think it's blue. I appreciate y'all all for joining in. Quite a bit of people. It's the most I've ever had in here. So thank you, especially in it being last minute. We're not done yet. And if you haven't already, smash the thumbs up button. And let's get to the next bag. Actually, it's only one more bag. I reuse a lot of these Goodwill bags and Target bags and TJ Maxx bags for the mailman. So when orders come in, we just put them in there rather than having them all loose and juggling around. Not too much left. For the collection, these don't sell for very much, but for four bucks, that's pretty much what you end up buying a Ronda Rousey um, Funko Pop for. And I got this because she's not fighting. If y'all follow UFC or MMA, she's not fighting. Maybe she has some more fights soon or in the future. But because of that, I figured they're not going to be making too much more of hers. There's several out there and they're different. So they're not all the same. 
Does anyone else get extremely hot and sweaty taking pictures of clothes? Like wearing them and taking pictures of yourself, Tim? <laughs> That's Krillin's bag. All right, here we go. As you see, I got quite a bit. And I probably have over a hundred of Funko Pops inside my garage. And some over there hiding in the background. And there's some in here. I've sold one of these footballs before, but not this brand. So I got this for three bucks. I ended up seeing this on the way out towards the register. This is a photo ball sports Pittsburgh Steelers. I know quite a bit, bit of Steeler fans out there. My coworker is a huge fan of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So this might end up going for around 40 bucks. This would be one of those that I'm not going to change the price on set price. Actually, probably a little bit more because the shipping of the dimensions on this. I think this is like a little over a pound. Yeah, one pound, three ounces. Let me know your favorite football team. Doesn't matter, NFL or college, and the description besides Tim. Everybody but Tim, okay? Here you go. About, I remember now why I recognize this type of football. This type of football has like this blotchy kind of like pat down brush sponge painted on there. And I remember the person messaged me originally saying uh, they bought the first football I ever came across this one. It's the second time I come across it. And they're like, I want a refund. It has some stains on it. I'm like, stains? What, what the hell are you talking about, stains? I remember mentioning that that's the way it was because I had seen photos of it like that. So I was a novice at first. Go Cowboys DC for lice. Life, lice, life, Lance, Broncos, a lot of Bronco fans in the community as well. What's up, monkeys? So uh, I ended up being one of those novice suckers that gave a partial refund, but I sold it to him for like 65 bucks. And I think I just gave him like $10 discount. But knowing what I know now, I could I would have just fought it. But sometimes we pick and choose on our moods of returns and partial refunds. But I'm glad they have those options, though, on eBay. Very, very good. So I might price this up there if there's not one like it. But I know they usually have some teams up there like this. And they're collectible. I think I had quite a bit of... Chancers on here. Take care of this right here. What kind of mic is this? This is the Blue Yeti, and then it has uh, the, the boomstick from Logitech on there, which is funny. I learned from uh, Monkey saying that. When I bought the Boomstick, it doesn't have Logitech on there. I didn't know that it was the Logitech company until the receipt or the final thank you, your order has been made or whatever. Then it had Logitech on there. So I was like, why does it have like a different name than Logitech? But they sell for a pretty good price and figured I'll get a good one and went with that one. I like it very, very much. Now this, I don't know the brand of what this is. It says Remington Bicycles, Telephone Bode. Somebody ripped off the labels on the bottom. And I think it was Dave who, Midwest Picker, if he's still in here, um, he had mentioned that a while back, this is probably like three months ago or two months ago, that the little type of uh, items like for houses sell. And that's what he reminded me of. And I figured I'll go with it. It seems to be brand new. There's two pieces. Usually they have some, oh crap. Usually they have some paperwork in there to go with it. But maybe, maybe they took it out. So this is definitely going to be some kind of work. And this goes in it. It's two piece. It's like a little register. So I don't know if this is even worth reselling, but... I want what the what the hey I'm here and I want to spend.
got three more items. Now this one, I like collecting hats. This would be on eBay, not so much on Depop, which I'm sure you could list anything on Depop that you would on eBay, but I'm trying to keep a certain theme or look on Depop. So got this for four bucks, muscle milk. I used to take muscle milk all the time when I was, <laughs> excuse me, my lactic acid is building up. I need to go eat something after this. But muscle milk is very good. I think the Oreos was like my favorite. And this is from Ogio. And I think Tracy was talking about the Ogio bags, how the prices are going down uh, with their and Tommy's two live chats ago. So this is a stretch fit, brand new. Doesn't look like there's any like uh, head markings on the inside, which are usually dead giveaways if they've been used. But this looks like it's in brand new condition. So this will probably go for around mid 20s, low 20s. And maybe I'll just put 28 and just leave it there because of shipping, which is very light. I usually put them inside my boxes, which are always off. They're like seven, seven, seven inches. But every time you get a box, it's usually longer than that. So you got to go an inch up. So eight by eight by eight. So very easy to, to ship and list. Told you a good brand. Two more things. All right, this one is not a big seller. I almost forgot the name. Bilbo Baggins. I got this because this is the kind of feet I have. My wife always says I have Frodo feet. And that reminded me of her. And I figured, why not get it? And I think it will sell for around 14 to 18 bucks. Not a huge, huge one, but with shipping costs is going to be low, probably maybe four bucks, depending on the zone. And for 99 cents, I went for it. So I'll probably be holding on to that one for a while. There's a little bit of them listed, but sometimes you sell stuff faster than what other people have the same thing of that sells super fast sometimes. It's the opposite. Sometimes your stuff will sell way slower than what other people are selling for. And I got this for five bucks. This is the last item. I can open it. Ooh, almost broke that little pot. This is from Zumba Fitness. Five buckaroos. Oh, I thought these were weights. Are these weights? Fill the thrill cover to cover. Little magazine ad. This might be brand new. What's going on here? Program guide. For everybody who caught the Rona weight, that thing's contagious. Get ready. Oh, I think it's missing a CD. Is it missing one? I'm going to have to look it up with the comps on eBay. I didn't know it came with CDs. I thought it was just weights. So I'm going to have to read the info later on. So there's two, four, six, seven. Seven CDs or DVDs in there. Pull one slides out. And this is why I bought them because of the, you know, when you're feeling festive. Not really, they're weights. So weights are still big sellers. I thought they would have died down like weeks ago, but they are not dying down on offer up. So I figured I would get these. But at the same time, my wife and my mother-in-law were asking for some light weights, and that's why I got them. Ladies and gents, that is all for this live haul. I hope you all enjoyed myself and the items that I got. I've learned a lot from all of y'all. I appreciate all the support and can't say that enough. And I... Anybody else that's on there, your live chats, I do my best to keep up with you as well. Support is in one way. You know, you should do what you ask for. And that's the kind of person I am. And I try to keep up. And that's the best I could do. Thank you all for coming in. Appreciate y'all. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Tell the people who don't know about me. Ask them, do you know about me? And if they don't, tell them to come my way. Thanks for watching. My name's Sunny, Las Vegas Thrifts, here on YouTube. Adios, friends. And that's a wrap.